Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. I hope you all are doing well and I hope you have a fabulous day. Ah, so we're going to go ahead and get into the morning message and see what comes up for us. Let's take a look here. And if you would like a private reading, as always, just visit my website at mysticgen.com. I think this current week is getting pretty full. I do have some openings for the following week. Slots are filling up very quickly. And once again, I also want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed. I want to thank you for all of your shares, all your comments, and all your likes. Truly, truly grateful. It means a lot to me. Okay, let's see what Spirit has for us for today. We have Mask. That came up. I, before my vacation. Truth. Oh my. The truth is being masked. Soulmate. Mmm. Okay. Okay. This is very interesting. This seems to be coming up as almost like somebody a soul hiding a truth about their soulmate or a soulmate hiding a truth here. Or it can also be us kind of hiding the truth from ourselves. Um, I do. That's very, very interesting. But it seems like somebody is hiding the truth concerning their partner. The soulmate is a significant other. Or it could be a best friend. It could be a family member. It's somebody that you have a soul bond with. A karmic tie with part of your soul tribe that you travel from lifetime to lifetime with. Be interesting to see what this is all about. Okay. I mean, I can't really elaborate more on that. That's very straightforward. Very straightforward. Someone's hiding the truth. Covering up the truth. Covering up the truth. And it's somebody who's part of your soul tribe. It's somebody who is very important to you or involves that person somehow. Let's look at what's underneath. Ten of Wands. Oh, yeah. Seven of Swords. Yeah, okay. Ten of Wands. Seven of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and we got Justice. Okay, this sound sounds like somebody is at a turning point. There has been an event or something like that that has been a pivotal point in this connection. And somebody is seeking answers, what do I do? Or somebody is making a decision. And if it feels like somebody was carrying a really heavy load, I mean, in regards to, it was very strenuous in regards to hiding a truth. This truth could come in many forms. But it's probably going to be different for everybody. But there is a truth that was hidden, covered up, that caused a real strain here and whatever that was and I, it's probably something that's coming out because the justice is about truth so it feels like a truth that has come out that was a major turning point okay that somebody is choosing to walk away from a situation that is a no-win situation a situation that was lacking and is actually lacking honesty. And it looks like um, we've had somebody's had enough of it. Maybe you've had enough of it. Enough of the lies and deception. It's just like um, the the straw that broke the camel's back. Okay, um, it's like uh, you you're at a point where I gotta leave this. Eight of cups. I gotta walk away from this. I gotta abandon this. Because it's just too much of a burden. 
too much to handle, too much to bear here, is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what else we got coming, going on here. Five of Wands, Two of Swords, Page of Swords. Um, right here is saying that you had to take a very hard look at the situation. The Two of Swords is saying that you may have avoided it for a while. Uh, kind of like that, I'll deal with this another day. A lot of, probably a lot of arguing going on. A lot of conflict. Because I think you knew that somebody wasn't being truthful and honest. You may have been keeping an eye on their social media. Or people, or people watching out, coming to you. And it's like, you saw the truth. You kind of... I think in the past, you were in a place of ignoring that truth, not wanting to see that truth. Tower. Then the truth came out. There's the tower. It kind of, I think it kind of shocked you. Even though, a sudden ending. Whoa, death card. This is very strong energy and the sun because you had to do what was best for you. Um, I think you were in a position where, okay, the tr there was an explosion of the truth. You kind of, it's like with this two of swords and the tower, you know, I was saying that you kind of thought that, you kind of knew what was going on, but you didn't want to see it. The truth was staring you straight in the face. You may even have saw something on social media and may have been in a little bit of self-denial, a little bit of denial about it. But you took the blinders off and it still kind of surprised you. I think that you were hoping that you were wrong. And when the truth really came out, it shocked you. And you knew that it was over. And, and whatever it was, it was over. It was over. And you knew it was over. And you knew you had to end this. You had to walk away. Because you had to do what was right for you. What would bring the sunshine back into your life? Whatever this is, it was a doozy. Okay. And, and I just saw temperance underneath. So I'm going to bring that out as well. So, you're now entering into, like, a time of healing here. King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, you're doing okay. You're going to be doing okay. You're going to be okay. Hermit. And the strength. Okay, I like, I like the fact that you're ending on the strength card. And out of these nine cards here, one, two, three, four, five. Five out of the nine cards are major arcana cards. Then you got one, two, three over here that are major arcana. You got, we, uh, this is a life-changing event that is on the horizon. And it looks like you're going through it right now. So whatever this truth is that's come out, it was a turning point. One, a turning point in which you could not turn back from. You knew that it was, it was over. It was time to end. This was over. It's time to end this. You had to walk away. But you knew by walking away, it will bring sunner, sunnier days ahead. And this king of pentacles is somebody who's really well grounded, who's mastered his physical environment. You're very much in control of your surroundings, your home, your um your coin and you had some lessons to learn so you learned the, some valuable lessons about your physical 3d about what matters to you you know about you could take care of somebody as much as you want you could care about somebody take care of everybody in your household but if they're not truthful and honest if there's lies and deception you know, there was a hard truth that you had to learn here. The hermit is looking at that 
King of Pentacles and say, well, did you learn something from this? From this experience? Did you learn not to put on the blindfold? Not to, not to ignore the red flags? Did you need to nip it in the butt before it gets out of control? But you have a sense of courage and inner strength here. Um, resilience here. And I think that this is also saying you're taming that beast, that urge to stay stuck in this. You're no, I don't have any stuck energy really next to that two of swords, which is good. But this has made you a, a much stronger person. And you're taking a critical look at your son. And having an understanding that you deserve to be happy. You don't deserve to be lied to. I do kind of want to look at... Um, more or less, what is this truth? What is it? That's come out. Okay. Show me this truth that's come out. Show me this truth that has come out. Show me this truth that has come out. Show me. So I think it has something to do with money, perhaps. Because, oh, three of cups. Oh, okay. There was some kind of connectivity here. That somebody was communicating. Somebody may have been communicating from a third party. That they kept well guarded, well hid. To the point of maybe even being defensive about it. Okay. The hangman. Is. Seeing things in another perspective. Being enlightened. Or turning the world upside down. And that's kind of what I'm feeling here. This whole situation. That when the truth came out. You felt like your world was turned upside down. But through this process. You became wiser and enlightened. Okay. Uh, I'm getting with, with the page energy here, a very naive energy. Almost like, and, and don't shoot the messenger, but a little bit, being a little bit naive about this person and about the red flags. Believing every line, every story that this person told you. But I think that there was secret communication with somebody that was very well hid. And when it came out, it turned your world upside down. But you learned something from it. What, did, what have we learned from this? Six of Pentacles. What else? I didn't ask for 20 cards. But. Um, I'm just going to take a quick look. Yeah. Somebody lying. Ace of Swords. Devil Energy. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's betrayal here. This is definitely some sort of betrayal. But we got the King of Swords. That was those ones were face down. This was face up with the King of Swords. The, what did you learn is what it's going to take for your unhappiness and your uncontentment. 
what it you learn what it is that you want and what you don't want in your relationships and you learn that sometimes you're going to make a tough choice to be open to what you truly deserve and the six of pentacles is a giving and a receiving this is saying that you you know that you want a balanced fair honest open relationship open honesty i should say not open open you know what i mean but you want an honest fair equal relationship that's what you learn and that's what you learned that you did not have here so you are making the changes that you need to make and your bottom line here looks great it is showing enlightenment it is showing learning lessons and it's showing healing sometimes the hermit card goes by himself to go within and to heal and with temperance is also a healing card as well okay and it, it is also about balance so i think that this old relationship was quite out of balance for a while and you didn't quite know why you may have seen some things in a phone text messages social media but there was something there that gave you an indication of what may have been going on maybe you couldn't put your finger on it so you said instead of arguing anymore about it i don't want to argue about this anymore that you may have chose to turn a blind, a blind eye to it. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to argue. But I'm going to keep a close eye on things and see what happens. And then there was some, I mean, the truth just kind of hit you in the face. And at that point, you knew it was done. You were done. I could hear somebody saying, I'm done. I'm just totally done. I want to be happy. I deserve to be happy. I know what I bring to the table. I know what values I have. What I know my own value, my own self-worth. And I know what I deserve. I deserve to be happy. I am so showing strength of will to break myself free of this. I understand that I was not being treated fairly. And I want that. I deserve honesty. And I deserve an even playing field. I deserve equal balance. I deserve balance. So, well, that's what I have for um, today. I thank you for tuning in. I love each and every one of you. And until next time, blessed be.